thank you jesus into yourself and know that this is the gathering. Thank you, Jesus. Gathering of special people. Hmm. So we are not here for just church service. We are here to meet with our God. Amen. And him for his mercy. Thank because you, God. He said during the time of trouble, he will suffer us. Thank you, God. And he really did it. Thank if you, you God. Still, if you are hearing my voice today, <laughs> you are part of the people that is enjoying the mercies of God. Thank you, enjoying God. Enjoying the, the privilege of being a child of the kingdom. Thank you, God. Because there is, you are not, we are not better than those that died during the coronavirus. <laughs> when God preserved you. <laughs> so, and the Bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4, to him that joined to the living, there is hope. <laughs> For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Ta -ta -ta. So, to keep you alive today, yes. it's not for you to enjoy McDonald's food and other things on earth. You are dear because you have not completed your assignment, <laughs> because you are ambassador of heaven. Amen. Your pastoral assignment has not finished. Yes. That's why he did not allow anybody to touch anything, including coronavirus, to touch you. Amen. So, you, you need to sit up. Yeah. You need to be proud. Take control of your seat. You know, she now feel, feel good that you are in the presence of the majesty. Amen. Who is here to speak to us through his servant? We will hear the voice of God through the voice of his servant tonight. Amen. And then as he will speak to us, he will bless us to death. <laughs> if you can table your need for your assignment, he excuse me. Oh my God, I feel like saying something. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Death. From me, take it from me now. Anything God is doing for you is not because you need a miracle. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. He is giving it to you in order to enhance your assignment on earth. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To feel free today to tell him what you need, mm. <laughs> just to equip you. Just like a, you need reinforcement, you need a backup because you are a special agent of heaven hmm. on assignment mm -hmm. on earth. Hmm. Hmm. If you are an agent of heaven, you are sent to colonize the earth. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are a colonial master, hmm. heavenly colonial master. Mm -hmm. Your commonwealth is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm. You, you, everything their supplies from heaven. Amen. Any type of force you need, yes. equipment you need, power and clarity, arsenals, everything you need, heaven will supply it for you to accomplish your assignment. Amen. No difficulties the assignment on earth. Amen. So he spared your life is not because hey, thank you for spending my he because he has a, you are a man and a woman on mission on Amen. mission Amen. see yourself as somebody you are not an entity you are not just ordinary christian you thank are a Jesus. child of purpose Amen. thank you god thank so you lord child of god get ready today our father is about to address us today hmm. he's addressing his army and then during the prayer, feel free to talk to him. All you need, the type of uh, 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 um, sub supply you need, help you need. Remember, your help comes from above, <laughs> not from not from uh, Buckingham Palace. Thank or you. From anywhere. Thank you, Lord. Your help comes from, because that you you belong to heaven. <laughs> That's why you are fearfully, wonderfully and fearfully made, brethren. Hmm. Hey. Thank the you, Bible Lord. Said the world have not known who you are. Hmm. 
Somebody said you are alien. <laughs> alien. Yes, because Bible said aliens on earth. If that word is just like a, 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 a call it a metaphoric word. Mm -hmm. Not this aliens we are talking about. Mm -mm. You are just like a stranger, a visitor here mm -hmm. on assignment, mm. waiting for the trumpet mm. to sound mm. for you to go and take up your crown. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, Lord. Just, there you will be forever. You will have well to hear, well done, my faithful servant. Mm. I sent you to take up nations, mm. and you have taken up nations. Mm. I sent you mm. in this world and did not allow anybody to, so, to, to, to touch you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And anyone that touched you, touch the apple of his eye. Amen. Doubt with anyone that touched you, you did not know. Hmm. You did not know that he's so jealous of you. Hmm. He prefer you to anything on earth. Hmm. That's why he will prefer to take you and give his son and take you as give his son as a ransom because he. He, oh God, for he so much loved you, created you his own image and likeness. He, oh, yeah. Jesus was a ransom. Imagine you were kidnapped and, the, and heading to death. And God said, no, instead of you to die, I'm giving my son as a ransom to take you. Thank you, Lord. Mercy. <laughs> Please add value to yourself. Amen. Add sense of value. Amen. And remember, any man who has no Christ, that has no Christ in his life, has no eternal value. Hmm. You have eternal value. Hmm. You, you, you have value, valuable asset, even in the hand of God and hand of man. Amen. You don't need anybody to validate you. Hmm. You already validated. Amen. You are somebody special. Praise Amen. The Lord. Praise the Lord. We are ready today. Amen. Lord, we equip you. The woman of God is already, in fact, as far as she is here today, God is ready to take over Amen. everything about her and use her as just a microphone <laughs> to talk to you. Thank you, and God. It is it's not her that we talk today, hmm. but God will use her to talk to us today. Amen. And whatever prayer yeah. she will pray today, God is just praying in the name of God. That's all, on behalf of God. Hmm. As far as she prayed the prayer in the name of Jesus, then every prayer made today will be answered. Hmm. So yeah. I can't wait to hand over to her today. Get ready concerning your offering, your tithe, your pledges, your vow, your donation. You will see, see the, um, uh, the, the, the account number, or you can call for your account number. Call me, um, and um, our platform, there is an account number there. That is your normal duty to give your offering to God as his son, as his daughter, just appreciate him because they love a cheerful giver. Just give to him and he will bless you. So tonight, oh, I can't wait to hand over to the woman of God. Before then, can you bow down your head and pray that God should speak to you tonight. Thank you, God. Can you bow down your head and pray? Pray your pa 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 pa
prefer hand over to the woman of God. I want to yeah. appreciate the men and women of God that are with us today. I did not even notice. But nevertheless, Pastor Noel Adeboye is here. I can see it in the participant um, in the column here. Pastor Noel Adeboye, man of God, we are, we are welcoming you in the program. Uh, yes, can you say hello to the children of God? I appreciate you, man of God. Saints, God bless you. be blessed Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And also we have uh, our, the servant of God, humble servant of God, my brother, Pastor Jude Olisa. He's here tonight. Pastor Jude, God bless you. We welcome you tonight. Thank you so much, Bishop. God bless, God bless you. you. God, God, bless you. God bless you. And I know it's going yes. to be awesome in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And we welcome you, Sister Sandrine. We Thank welcome you tonight. You are highly welcome. Thank you. God man. bless you so much. Brother, can we clap for the, the people uh, that uh, the, the children of God that have uh, greeted today? Can we clap for, for Jesus? Thank you for making Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. And uh, we have uh, Suzette Williams. William, Suzette, I would like you to give your testimony on Sunday and so on. Though if you had come early, you would have given it. But uh, I know you have your testimony. As usual, she's a woman of testimony. Amen. And God has blessed her. Amen. And other people too. All right, brethren, because of time, I am thanking God for everybody. I will be wish I be clapping our hand as I welcome the woman of God, Bishop Veronica Amusiong. Please put your hands together for her right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're welcome, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, yes. Bishop Patrick. I'm, I'm so honored and humbled for the opportunity. Thank you so much and God bless you, sir. Amen. God bless your family. Amen. I acknowledge uh, the man of God, Pastor Noah Adeboye. God bless you, man Amen. of God. Pastor Jude, my own uh, special Amen. pastor, God bless you tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Children of God, God bless you all that you have joined us tonight in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless those that are on Facebook as well that are watching in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless his people and continue to bless you and to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. We give thanks tonight for the faithfulness of God. And tonight we have been commanded by the man of God to talk about the mercies of God. The mercies of God. Amen. God's mercy is something that the world has not yet seen because we the children of God have not learned what the mercy of God is about. When we get to realize and to know what the mercy of God is about, we will know that mercy is what created the world and what rules the world. Hallelujah. Mercy. In Lamentations 3.22, I want to read Lamentations 3, verses 22. It says, because of the Lord's great mercy, we are not consumed. Amen. For his mercy never fails. Hallelujah. Instead, the mercies are renewed every morning. Hey. And great is his faithfulness. Hallelujah. I said to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. He is saying, the Lord is my portion. The Bible says that the mercies of God is renewed upon our lives every morning. 
every single day, God's mercy renews upon our life. What is this mercy that we are talking about? No, no, no. You have to, you have to be mercy. Oh, hallelujah. Mercy is when God Almighty, hallelujah, comes into your life and takes over. Mercy is when God Almighty says, this person is supposed to die, but because of my mercy, I will give them a second chance. Mercy is that which comes to you in the times when you don't know what to do. And mercy takes over and mercy says, hallelujah, that you will make it. Mercy is that when it comes into your life, it changes is your story. Mercy is that which fills you with compassion for the sinner. Mercy is that which fills you with compassion for the person that hates you so much. And you say, oh, mercy. Hallelujah. God's mercy, it never fails. Yes. God's mercy will bring you through the rough places. God's mercy we take you from being a nobody to becoming something. Amen. Whatever you need in your life at this time, I want you to know, my dear friends, that mercy is well able to meet all your need. Amen. Amen. No matter what you need, whether it's better health, oh, your health may not be where you want it to be, and you are praying, oh God, I want you to know that mercy is right inside there. Hey, yeah. If you need courage to stand at this time when everybody is running helter scatter, I want you to know that mercy is there. Every single need that you have will be met because of mercy. Amen. Mercy, his mercy never fails. The Bible says every morning you get a bag full of mercy. He renews his mercy upon us every single day. Mercy is our portion in the land of the living. It's because of mercy that we can accomplish things. It's because of mercy. You know, sometimes when I sit down and I'm chatting with the Lord, and God begins to show me things that are happening in the world. And God begins to show me certain things that people are planning. And he begins to show me as he says to me, daughter, these people don't know about my mercy. Uh, wow. He said, my mercy. People don't know about my mercy. When you come into mercy and you begin to know what mercy is and you key in with mercy, you will become untouchable. Hallelujah. When you key into mercy, you will become untouchable. Amen. Yes. What is that difficult situation you are facing right now? What is that problem that you need to understand? You can't seem to get your head around it. Mercy. Thank you, Lord. God's mercy will take care of it. No matter what it is you are facing, God's mercy is where able. What is this mercy? In Luke chapter 15, we see the prodigal son. The prodigal son collected everything that he had and he left. The prodigal son went to a far country. The Bible says a far country means he departed from the faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He left his father's house and he went to a place. Yeah. And he squandered mm, mm. everything that was his portion. After everything was finished, the Bible says he went and hired himself to a pig farmer. Even the pig farmer, the Bible says he longed to eat the food of the pig, but he couldn't. The food of pigs. When you a child of a king, the king of kings, like our bishop said earlier, he said, who is Prince Charles? Who is all these people compared to whose we are? Hey, hallelujah. The Bible said he began to be hungry. He began to hunger. And then he said, uh-uh. 
he, talk, he began to speak to himself. He said, how many of my father's children have food to eat and to spare? Here I am. I am dying of hunger. He said, I will go back to my father and I will say to my father, I am no more worthy to be called your son. I have sinned against you. The Bible says while he was still afar, his father saw him and his father began to run towards him. His father began to run towards him. That's my son. That's my son. That's my son. What did he receive? He received mercy. He received mercy. I know some of you, if it was you and I, we would say, this stupid boy, look at him. All that I gave him, he has squandered it. Now, what does he want? He has to pay the price. He has to be punished. He has to. But the father said, mm -mm, this is my son. Bring the fattest cow. Kill it for this child. Bring the fattest cow. Bring the best robe. Put it on this child. For this child of mine was lost, but is now found. This this child of mine was lost, but he's now back home. The father began to celebrate. He said, put on a party for him. What did the prodigal son receive? He received mercy. Amen. When his brother came and his brother had music and the brother said, what is happening? Oh, your junior brother has come and your father has killed the father's cow. He became so angry. He said, why should Papa do this? I am here with the, my father. My father has never killed a goat for me before. Why do it for this one that has squandered everything and has come back? That's how the world judges us. People judge you. You make one mistake, they put you in the basket and they cover you up somewhere. You are finished. You should never have another chance. You have a criminal record. Because of your criminal record, you cannot walk. Because you have a criminal record, your life is on hold. Because you have a criminal record, you are finished. Let me tell you, there is a power that is available to us. There is a grace that is on molested that is unchallenged that belongs to us don't let anybody write you off the prodigal son senior brother said oh father god uh -huh, my father i've been here with you you didn't give me any even small goat oh he was thinking about small goat and the father said to him everything i have belongs to you my child everything i have belongs to you let me show your brother mercy let me give your brother mercy I Allow me to give your brother mercy, my brothers and sisters, until the church goes back to mercy, until we go back to the place where we show the world mercy. People will not know that God came. Most of the time, people don't want to know about Jesus because we have portrayed God as a God of fire that is waiting to punish people, a God of fire that is waiting to kill people. We have not shown people that God is mercy, that God himself, his name is mercy, that his mercies do not fail, that his mercies are renewed every morning, every single day. He renews that mercy of Upon us, the Bible says in, in Lamentations 3, Aliki Senior Luther, it says, Because of the Lord's great mercy, we are not consumed. We are not consumed for His mercy. His mercy never fails. Amen. His mercy never fails. I love mercy. I'm a candidate of mercy. I am a candidate of mercy. I'm going to sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercy of the Lord. Yes. I say I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercy of the Lord. I'm a candidate of mercy. I say I'm a candidate of God's mercy. Mercy. With mercy, he rewrote my life. I say with mercy, he rewrote my life. When they said I should hang, he said no. When they say I should fail, he said no. When they said 
I should die. Mercy said no. I said mercy. Because of the Lord's great mercy, we are not consumed. Oh, hallelujah. All those experiences that you find yourself facing, those challenges, uh -huh. those challenges are a call for mercy. Mercy is saying, my child, get up. You are bigger than that challenge. You are bigger. It's mercy that is calling you. Hallelujah. You have inside you. God Almighty lives inside you. Infinite possibilities are inside you. Yes. I say infinite possibilities are inside you. God has placed within you an undefeated power that is yet untapped. Amen. The Bible says that creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. 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 There is a power placed inside you that will help you to meet every need in the right way and in the right place and at the right time. Mercy, mercy, mercy has covered you. You are not naked when Adam and Eve sinned and they began to use fig leaves to cover themselves. <laughs> they were using fig leaves fig leaves to cover themselves and God came to them and God said to Adam and Eve, who told you you are naked? God said Adam and Eve, when they had God in the garden, they began to hide. They were hiding and God said to them, why are you hiding? They said, we heard your voice and because we were naked, so we, we are hiding and God said who told you you are naked? Who told you you are naked? Who told you you are helpless? Who told you there is no way out for you? Who told you that you are in a box? Who told you that you are in a corner? I want to let you know that God Almighty has promised us in Ezekiel 34, 12. He said, you are my sheep. He said, so I will seek out my sheep. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture. I am your God, says the Lord. You are a beloved child of God. You are the child of the creator. You are the vessel of honor through which God Almighty pours out an abundance of supply, an abundance of increase, an abundance of everything good. God Almighty is seeking his children that we rise up. Sometimes we just sit there and we condemn ourselves and we look down on ourselves and we say there is nothing good in me. You sit down there and you make yourself of no effect. You sit down there and you have nothing to say about yourself that is good because somebody told you you are not good because somebody told you this or that. So you allow that to determine who you are. Why mercy has rewritten you your life mercy has called you a new name mercy does not condemn you you know sometimes there are sometimes when i wake up in the morning and i don't feel so well you know what i begin to do i go stand in the mirror like this and i begin to look at myself when i'm telling you i do this the devil doesn't know what to do with me because it's too late for him. I stand in front of the mirror and I look at myself like this and I begin to talk to myself and I begin to say to myself, just look how beautiful you are. Just look at how blessed you are. I will lay hands on my head and I will bless myself and I will tell myself that I am blessed. I will tell myself that I am beautiful. I will tell myself that I am well able. I will tell myself that God is inside me. I will tell myself that the one that is inside me is greater than the one that is in the world. I will tell myself that I dare not curse God because when you begin to say negative things about yourself, it's not about you. You are talking about God because God Almighty lives in you. When you condemn yourself and you allow people to condemn you, you forget about mercy, the mercy that shed his blood on the shores of this world, the mercy that shed his blood so that you can live the mercy that shed his blood for you you forget about that mercy and you allow the devil to tell you you are no good for nothing you are not gonna make it look at you your case is hopeless i am telling you it's a lie it's a lie i declare mercy i plead mercy i stand on that mercy i say god is merciful to me god is kind to me mercy 
Hallelujah. I say mercy because of the Lord's great mercy. We will never be consumed. But what about you, my brothers and sisters? Are you standing on top of mercy? Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. When that situation confronts you that you don't know what to do. Uh, what about mercy? I remember years ago. We had a problem in, with our house and the bailiff was coming to take our house. We are still here. The, uh. the bailiff was coming to take the house. <laughs> we, uh, we asked for help everywhere, nobody to help us. You know what I did? I took mercy on board. I began to declare mercy. I said every need will be met. Every need will be met according to his mercy. Every need will be met. Every need. I will spend the whole 24 hours. I will be declaring it. My every need will be met. My every need will be met. We waited till the day of the repossession. No help in the physical. You know, my husband went to take some of his clothes and he went to hide them outside. He said, Mommy, will you not pack? I said, I have two small children. Where am I packing to? I said, I am not going to pack to go anywhere. I will be here. I went outside and I stationed the angel of the Lord in front of my house. I said, the same angel that guided the Garden of Eden, I mount you here. No human being alive can enter my house to repossess it. Hallelujah. So on the day of the repossession, I'm sitting here. I'm going around my, 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 my sitting room and I'm declaring mercy never fails. Mercy never fails. Mercy never fails. Uh -uh. I see some men on the other side of the road. I'm looking at them. I didn't know it was the bailiff. They could not cross to the front of my house. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. They stood there for some time and I saw them leave. Yeah. Yeah. Then my husband comes in. He said, Mommy, they are gone. I said, Did they come? He said, Did you see some men behind the window? I said, Yes. He said, Yes, it was the bailiff. They came and they've gone. Yes. I said, so what happened? Yes. He said, the building society lawyer that is holding the repossession paper is caught up in a traffic and he can't arrive here before 12 p.m. Uh, 12 a.m. Yes. <laughs> he said, the building society lawyer that has the repossession paper is caught up in a traffic. He won't be able to make it even in the next three hours. <laughs> Mercy, mercy, mercy. But sometimes you are afraid to speak. Sometimes you, because you do not know about the mercy that went to the cross for you, you allowed the devil to take you for cheap. Wow. God is good. You have to fight back like a tiger. Hey. You have to fight back like a tiger. If I were to start telling you the testimonies of God's mercy, I will not finish today. <laughs> when my daughter was three years old, they say she's not going to talk. <laughs> I say, eh. I took the word of God. I began to speak over her. Morning, afternoon, and night, I will speak. Three weeks, my daughter began to speak English. More than the Queen of England. Hallelujah. In three weeks, <laughs> Makushke Akasia, she began to speak English that was the devil wanted to block. <laughs> My daughter went on from there. Every class she entered, she took the gold medal for English. All her medals are here in this room. <laughs> mercy. What are you doing with mercy? You may need to change your attitude from negative to positive many times a day in order to become an open channel through which the mercies of God can flow. 
Amen. Yes. Amen. You will need to deal with your mind, with the things you are believing. You will need to deal with it. God Almighty says, I'm with you always. Mercy is with you always. Amen. Mercy is with you always. His mercies do not fail. So, my brothers and sisters, do not allow shame to overtake you. Because if shame overtakes you, the devil will laugh and say, See, they don't know about mercy. Sometimes, when you don't have anything else to stand on, you can stand on mercy. You can stand on mercy. When Jesus Christ came, there was a time, oh, he needed to feed 5,000 people. There was nothing. Jesus stood there. He said, it's time for mercy to show up. Amen. Amen. Yes. Taking two loaves of bread and three fishes in hand. He said, Father, I thank you. Amen. Because I know that your mercies do not fail. Amen. Amen. Jesus was so confident that, Je that God will meet the need of all those 5,000 people there. He was not afraid to plead the mercy of God. Over, He just blessed the little that was there and it began to multiply and multiply. Sometimes when you have very little, what do you do? You complain, oh, I don't have enough. My case is hopeless. When was the last time you took the little you had and blessed it and called upon mercy? The multiplying power is in the mercy. The multiplying power of God works inside the mercy. There is a power that works inside mercy. When you are able to declare God's mercy is bigger than what I am seeing. God's mercy is bigger than this problem. God's mercy is bigger than what I am hearing. God's mercy. There is a multiplying power that is in the mercies of God. Hallelujah. Every spirit that wants to oppress you, that wants to tell you you are not going to make it. You will not have enough. There is a power that that is in the mercy of God that is able to multiply what you have that is able to turn things around the mercy of God is bigger than your problems is bigger than anything you have ever faced that mercy is what brings you out of tight corners hallelujah hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus never allowed anything to stand in the way of the blessings that he wanted to pour out upon us even at this time mercy has not run dry. Did you hear what Lamentations 3 said? It says the mercy is renewed every morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hey. You are not dealing with a 2,000 year old mercy. You are not dealing with an expired mercy. You are not dealing with a mercy that has to come from heaven. The Bible says that mercy is renewed upon our lives every morning. In Psalm 23, God commanded goodness and mercy to follow us. He commanded goodness and mercy to follow you all the days of your life. All the days of your life, goodness and mercy has been commanded to follow you. Amen. But when was the last time you looked back and saw mercy? When was the last time you looked back and said, goodness and mercy is still following me? I want you to know that because of mercy, yes, yes, yes. Yes. every need shall be met. Every single need shall be met. Is it wisdom you need? You need wisdom. There is wisdom in mercy. Yes. Wisdom to do what you are supposed to do. There is wisdom in mercy. Is it patience you need? There is pa enough patience in mercy. You need a greater understanding of a particular situation. Yes. Call upon mercy yes. for understanding. Oh, Your every need will be met. Jesus. Every single need will be met because of his great mercy towards you. Yes. 
The prodigal son thought his case was ended. When he returned home, the father said, Son, come in, come in, come in. Ah, I do not hold anything against you. Stop letting things judge you. Stop letting people tell you you are hopeless. Stop telling people tell you you are not going to make it. I have used mercy to cross borders. I have used mercy to enter places that people said I will not enter. I have used mercy to accomplish things that were impossible. You have a weapon in your hand. It is called mercy. God's mercy never fails. His mercy is not going to fail you. Hallelujah. No matter what it is, remember that God's mercy is there for you in the times when you feel hopeless, in the time when you don't know what to do, in the time when everything denies the goodness of God. Mercy is God's compassion. It never fails. Instead, God Almighty renews it every single day. God Almighty pours it out every single day more mercy more mercy more grace more abundance in the name of jesus you serve a faithful god oh hallelujah at the same time i want us to know that mercy is not a license to sin yes Yes. Mercy is not a license to sin. Romans 6, hallelujah. The Bible says in Romans 6, 1, that should we, because of grace, continue to sin? God forbid. God forbid. Mercy is never a license for us to sin. Mercy is an opportunity for us. To live a righteous life before God. So that when you call upon God, mercy is always there to support you, to stand by you. What happens when we are living in sin is that you, even though mercy is still working, we are not able to partake of mercy because we are living in sin. Amen. When God rebukes you about something... Try and turn around from doing that thing. Try and stop doing that thing. Whatever it is you are doing. And God says, my child, I don't want you to do that again. Then I want you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit for the grace to change, to turn around from doing that thing that the, God, that the heart of God does not want you to do. Because those are some of the things that make you sometimes you feel as if God is not there anymore. Those are the things that sometimes makes you feel as if the mercy of God is short. God's mercy is never short. But our sin, our sins can make us to feel like the mercy of God has become scarce because when you are not living right, you cannot appear bold. You cannot appear strong enough to challenge circumstances because you will be living in fear. You will be feeling intimidated. You will be thinking, oh, is God still with me or is God still not with me? I want you to know that mercy is a gift of God that is given to you and I. Mercy is a gift of God that is there, is always there. That mercy has been commanded to follow you all the days of your life. Mercy has been commanded. It's a command that mercy follow you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. Not some days. Whether you feel it or not, mercy is still there. Hallelujah. Whether you know it or not, mercy is still there. Hallelujah. No matter what you are going through, I want you to know that God's mercy is still there. There are no closed doors for you. Hallelujah. God Almighty has set before you an open door which no man can close. That door was purchased by the blood of Jesus when he shed his blood on the cross for you. That door is always open. The door of God's goodness, the door of God's abundance, there are no closed doors for you. Hallelujah. I want you to know that God has opened doors before you which no man can shut, which nothing can shut. So be encouraged. I want you to know that God's mercy, hallelujah, is there for you, no matter what, no matter what anyone tells you, no matter what you are going through, I want you to know that mercy, his mercy is not going to fail you, the doors are always open, doors of God's favor, doors of God's increase, doors of God's abundance, doors of God's goodness, those doors are always open before you. Because of his mercy, you will not be put to shame. The Apostle Paul was a candidate 
state of mercy from a murderer to the person who wrote more than half of the Old Te New Testament. It was because of mercy. Let me tell you, no matter how far gone you, you have gone, mercy can still pick you up. Mercy can still rescue you. Mercy can still make a way for you where they say there is no way. You are one with the love of God. I say you are one with the love of God. God's love fills your heart and blesses your life. I say you are one with the love of God. God's love blesses you and fills your heart. God's mercy is with you. Hallelujah. You are one with the power of God. God's overcoming power is with you. You are one with that power. Don't you ever let anything take away the knowledge of God's mercy from you. Because everything is, 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 is mercy surrounds everything. Mercy is the only thing that has been appointed to follow you. Following you all the days of your life. You are one with the peace of God. Nothing can disturb or upset you. Hallelujah. You are calm and you are at peace in the midst of every storm of life. God is your strength. You are one with the strength of God. You have strength in your body. You have strength in your mind. You have strength in your emotions. You have strength in your soul. Because God is strength. You are one with the strength of God. You are one with life. I say you are life. You are hallelujah. The Bible says when Christ who is your life shall appear. You are one with life. Don't you ever let anybody mess with your life. For you are one with life. For the life of God is in you. It's flowing through you like a mighty healing river. The life of God flows through you like a mighty healing river. Hallelujah. Cleansing you. Renewing you. Strengthening you. Hallelujah. You are one with God's substance. God's substance. You are one with, with God's substance. Everything that God is. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. God is pouring from his heavenly throne an abundance of mercy. Inside that mercy, everything is inside there. All you ever need, all you will ever need is inside there. Hallelujah. You are one with the light of God. Oh, Kunerere, you are one with the light of God. That light shines around you. That light shines in you. You can see clearly you are not walking in darkness so that anything can take you by surprise. I declare light for you. I say let there be light in the dark places of your life because of mercy. I say because of mercy. You are one with wisdom. I say you are one with wisdom. Your mind is illuminated by God's wisdom. God's wisdom fills your mind. You know what to do. You know how to do it because you are the child of the living God. You are one with God. You are one with all that is good in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare the glory of God, the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters. God is always with you. Do not be afraid. Mercy is with you. Oh, God himself wraps himself inside mercy and that mercy follows you. Hallelujah. It's like a bodyguard. You know, when you have a bodyguard, you are not afraid. Goodness and mercy follows you. Why will God ask goodness and mercy to follow you? Eh? Tell me why he will ask goodness and mercy to follow you. Those are your guides. Those are your guide men. Those are the guys that are there to look after you and to uphold you. Mercy. I said mercy is not going to fail you in the name of Jesus. Hold on to the mercies of God. Hold on to the faithfulness of God. Keep declaring it in the times. Oh, hallelujah. When you don't know what to do, you can summon mercy. Goodness and mercy. They are your security men. They are following you yeah. in the times when you don't know what to do anymore. Hallelujah. Let mercy take over. Let the mercy of God take over. Let your faith be in the goodness of God. Be, oh, hallelujah. Extend that goodness to others. Extend that mercy to others. Make sure you show mercy to people. Sometimes people do things to us and we refuse to show them mercy. But God Almighty wants us to show mercy. Amen. Show mercy, forgive people because of mercy. The Bible says, even as in Christ, God forgave us. Mercy. Show other people mercy. 
As you do that, you will find that you will become undefeated. Yes. You will become unmolested. Sometimes when people do bad things to me, I will go and start crying for them. Do you see me here? I cry five, six, seven times a day. Every day of my life. For 30 years I knew Christ. I cry every day of my life because of mercy that fills me to overflowing. Yeah. Mercy. Learn to show mercy. Learn to show mercy. Mercy. Sometimes women that are looking for babies, they come to me and I pray once and they get pregnant. They say, how come? It's mercy. Mercy. The mercies of the Lord. The mercies of the Lord. The mercies of the Lord. His mercy. His mercy never fails. His mercy. His mercy never fails. His mercy. His mercy. His mercy never fails. I say his mercy. God's mercy. His mercy never fails. His mercy. His mercy. His mercy never fails. Brothers and sisters, when everything else fails, you can appeal to mercy. When everything else has failed, you can call upon mercy. Mercy, I'm rounding up. There's a story of this woman who came to Napoleon and she said to Napoleon, my son is about to be executed. And she asked Napoleon to pardon her son. Napoleon declared that the boy has disobeyed on two occasions and justice demanded that he be executed. The woman replied, but I don't ask for justice. I plead for mercy. Napoleon said, your son does not deserve mercy, sir. Your son does not deserve mercy. The woman cried, if it will not be mercy again, if he deserves it. And mercy is all I ask for. Well then, Napoleon said, I will have mercy. And he spared the woman's son. I want you to know, Mercy, you can't earn it. None of us can earn mercy. But you know the good thing, nobody is calling you to earn it because mercy is still the whole world. Mercy is still the whole world. Not only is mercy still the whole world, mercy has been commanded to follow you as a guide. Mercy has been commanded to accompany you on the journey of life. I say mercy never fails. His mercy, his mercy never fails. I say the mercies of Jesus, the mercies of Jesus, the mercy of Jesus. The mercy of Jesus, His mercies never fail. It was because of that mercy that He went to the cross of shame. He said, I will go for them. It was because of mercy, because of mercy, that He hung on the cross of shame. So that you and I can live. Yes. It was because of mercy that he paid the price for you and I. Oh, mercy. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, Walita, Masi. Never fear. I say his mercy will not fail you. I say his mercy will not fail you. Amen. For his mercy, his mercy never fails. Father, thank you for your people. We thank you. Oh, Kunelele. You are so good. You are so good. You are good. You are good, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege and the honor to share about your mercy with your people. May you engrave this message in their head. That in the times when the storms hit, when the rough places come, that they will remember to call on mercy, 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 mercy. Because your mercy will not fail them. Thank you, Jesus, man of God. Thank you for the privilege of sharing the word with your people tonight. I will hand over this service to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. I receive. I receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Her family and her ministry and replenish the anointing and the virtue that replenish the anointing and the virtue that are born out of her now. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, we thank you for her. Thank and you. may this message find its place in our life. Amen. We have fruit in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Before we, 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 we can say any other thing or do any other thing, or even close today, I want to us to have a prayer now. And that prayer, from what God has spoken to us, the woman of God did not speak anything to us. That's why that have gone out of her. It is God that squeezed her and used her to speak to us today. So it is God. That's why we are thanking God for her, making herself available for God to speak through her. And it was talking to me. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna share this little thing she said here. God spoke through her. If you are qualified, then you don't deserve mercy. Yes. But Jesus said, anyone that is not sick does not need a physician. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you are not guilty, you don't deserve mercy. Mm -hmm. Napoleon was able to understand it. How much more God of mercy. And I, when she was speaking today, she said that they want to repossess the house. She commanded the mercy should speak. Brethren, mercy overrules judgment. Yes, the judgment is that there will be a reposition, but mercy silences judgment. 
Mercy breaks protocols of judgment. And when mercy speaks, every judgment will be silenced. That's what happened there. So you have, you have right now to tap into this mercy that is flowing now. And speak like she spoke to, to her situation. I love when she said, how many times have you take, have you decided to take that letter, that thing that remains letter, and pray for multiplication? You don't have money. What do you have? One P. Raise it and speak that there will be multiplication. Instead of complaining and crying, and God can multiply, can multiply it. <laughs> I learned a lot from God today through the woman of God. <laughs> So you are going to pray. If you are not beautiful, that's why, like somebody said, I am not beautiful. That's why I cannot marry. I'm not handsome. That's why I cannot marry. I don't deserve. If then, what is the mercy for? Mercy is giving, exempting you from the judgment or punishment you deserved. Grace is giving you what you do not deserve. It is God of grace and mercy. <laughs> so today, just as she taught us now, to, 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 just as God taught us through her, that you can speak to that impossible thing. God made it impossible for them to get money for the mortgage or the possession. God allowed <laughs> to show his mercy. Yes. <laughs> the flaws of God bless you double times. Amen. It. Yes. Man's extremity is God's opportunity. Mm -hmm. No? Yes. His power is made, is made manifest in your weakness. Mm -hmm. He is the one that qualifies the unqualified. <laughs> he is the he is the strength, your strength in your weakness. Don't just say I don't have power, I don't have what it takes. If you have what it takes, then you don't need God. Mm -mm. You don't need mercy. So because of this mercy that is new every morning, we don't use it. Rather, we complain. Now, from this day. Because of this program, we shall speak of the mercies of the Lord. Huh. We should command the mercies of the Lord by making ourselves available, position ourselves for the mercy to flow. That particular stubborn case, decree the mercy of God to overrule it. Amen. You know, that's the situation. The woman of God specializes in fruit of womb. It's just like fruit of womb woman. Any woman that any person that did fruit of womb, <laughs> that's when she just speak mercy of a rules, barrenness. Do you know? So these are the things. Now she can tell you about mercy. Miracle follows me. Anything I say, miracle happens. I don't know how it happens. It is mercy of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anyway, we'll here. Sunday will be a lot of testimony. Tomorrow is testimony. Sir. And I will like God to multiply your testimony from tonight. Amen. That tomorrow you Amen. come and give your testimony. Amen. I want you to raise one of your hands right now. Thank you, Father. You are going you, to Jesus. declare mercy in every impossible areas of your life, difficult areas of your life, your situation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Israel was hopeless before Goliath. <laughs> Shattered the hope. Thank they don't have you. any hope. That when mercy came. Thank you for mercy. Thank you, God. David is stepping in. Thank you, Jesus. Goliath was dead. Yeah, Goliath is about to die tonight. Oh, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because of you now, I want you to declare that this situation that God will overlook that judgment, that situation, that, 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 that
Thank you for your mercy. Your mercy is moving in my life. Your mercy is walking in my life. Your mercy. Mercy, mercy, Kalia. God's mercy is working for me. It's moving in my life. God's mercy in Yamushkita in my ministry, in my children, in my marriage, in every area of my life. Mercy, I drop mercy. Mercy drops. Mercy, mercy all around me. Mercy, 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 mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mercy, 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 mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. Thank you for mercy. God, thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know what to say, but I need to want to. I need to say something before our our time is up. It is mercy of God that some of most of, in fact, all of us are alive today. I saw, I see Grace, iPad, is it Grace? Sister Grace from Birmingham, are you? I want to hear your voice if you are there. No, it's not Sister Grace from Birmingham. Okay. Sister Grace from London. Okay, from London, okay, praise the Lord. You are welcome. Yes, and then um, there is an iPad Pro here. Okay, but let's continue. Please, all of you are recognized. Now, let me say something that will make you go today with gladness of heart and the hope that tomorrow, as a man of God, will take over tomorrow. That is, it will be miracle galore. From tonight, the miracle will begin to flow. Mm-hmm. Mercy from the woman of God today, we understood that, like our sister here, there are people on phone here. I still, I, I know why I'm saying and speaking about her now. Doctor have said three months she will die since last year, <laughs> early last year, and she celebrated her 85th birthday. This November. Hallelujah. Amen. She celebrated her birthday November last year and November this year. And we celebrate November next year. Amen. Amen. Instead of her case that the doctor saw as hopeless to just like deteriorate, the case was repaired. Thank you, God. So, mercy is that the doctor did not want to show any mercy anymore. Death, no mercy. <laughs> they cannot do anything. You are going to die. Go and write your way and die. But God said, mercy overrules that judgment. Thank you, God. So, what are you doing now? This is not a story. This is what is here. And she is here. Sister Vaughn, can you shout hallelujah? So they are here on phone. Now, I want to say this. I don't know that thing. Devil said that is impossible in your life, in your family, brother, sister, husband, wife. Just thank God now. Only thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you for mercy. La tutu tulu tutu tali tala tia tia tutu tutu. Later, let have mercy. I thank you for your mercy. Mercy is speaking in areas of my life where they have said it will never happen. Things that have become impossible. Things that they said there is no way again. Your mercy is speaking. Your mercy is speaking. Your mercy is speaking in my life, in my children. In the work of my hands, in my ministry, in La Shinta, 
Mase, mase kalia, nsubrini kutu liodwa. Neshkila di stila bro stakleta. Mase, I speak mase, even into the foundation of my life. I speak mase, alia kuchi, priina city, malita ya neteya. Any voice that is speaking in the realm of the spirit against my life, I declare mase, uchalalala, uchebebebe. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me, shall follow me. Goodness and mercy, you've been commanded to accompany me. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. If you are looking for husband or wife here, or fruit of womb here, lift your hand now. Lift your hand. Husband or fruit of womb here now, or your marriage has one problem or the other, you want a change. You, you want go to fine tune it. <laughs> we have Bishop in the house now, she can still speak to God for mercy now. Martha said. Father, if you are Jesus, if you are here, my brother will not die, would not have died. But even now, I know and I believe that whatsoever you shall ask, that God can grant it to you. So mm -hmm. if Bishop was here, the situation wouldn't have been like that if it's, she is living in your house. <laughs> but now, even now, we believe that if she speak today, that God can still give you, grant you whatever you need with me, because I'm going to speak with joint anointing. I said it, and Pastor Noel is here too, and the other women of God are here. Now we are going to join her force now and pray. Whatever you want, God will grant you to you. Those looking for Amen. a wife or husband Amen. or fruit of womb now. Amen. And if you have one problem or the other you need, just put your hand upon your head. Amen. And Amen. the other, for other ones, we put your hand, we raise your hand. If you raise your hand, even if you have other, uh, okay, raise your hand up or put your hand upon your head if you have double problem. A double situation. Sorry, double testimony. We don't have problem. <laughs> yeah, double testimony. I am not. I mean, not, not a joker. Every to, to, uh, to, uh, problem is a stepping stone to greater height. Every pro trouble, every impossibility is a testimony before God. Thank you, God. Oh my God. Huh. Where? If you don't want God to be glorified, don't just pray. But if you believe that your problem is a testimony tonight, then you've got it. Now, we are going to pray. And the bishop will round up this prayer because she's about to give those looking for child, you know, children now, and those looking for husband, be handsome, good husband, and the good wife today. And the homes will be repaired today. Every other thing will be repaired today. And we have man of God in the house too, who will do justice to this by concluding everything with us. Now, thank you. Lord. Really said up your hand right now. Father, we... woman, of God, woman of God, I want you to raise up your voice right now. Amen. Father, and thank you. Ready. Command, command the mercy of God upon the life of the children of God. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. We are not asking you to do anything that you have not done. We are not asking you again. You said you have given it to us. Amen. So why are we asking again? You think you never even told us to pray about anything that you we need? You say we should take it because you've given us everything we need for life and godliness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You never all these things we go around praying. You never told us to do that. Man. <laughs> Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
Yeah, Whatever it is that you want from God, just take it. Just take Amen. it and give him thanks. The problem is that you don't take. You don't take. You still keep thinking you need to fight. You need to fight devils. You need to do before you will get. But Jesus already gave. Just take it. Take what you want. Take it. It's there for you. It's there. It's there. Every morning, the angels bring new mercy. Every morning, new miracles, new bodies, new health. Just take it. Receive it. Receive that baby. Receive that healing now. Receive that husband. Receive that job. Receive that wisdom. Receive that clarity of purpose. Receive that debt cancellation. Just take it. He said, when you pray, believe. When you believe, receive. When you receive, it will be yours. It's because you have not received that you still haven't seen it. He said, if you ask in the name of Jesus, it's already yours. Oh, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that whatsoever we have asked in his name that is ours, we receive, Father, we receive those testimonies. Agara, agara, testimony, Sidi Chiche, Papa Nam. Oh, we thank you tonight. We are receiving, we are receiving from the fullness of your grace, one blessing after another, for the word is already flesh. I said the word is already flesh and is dwelling with us. Your miracle is right there. A woman came to me after 20 years of trying to conceive. I said, but your babies are around you. You didn't pick them. I said, pick them. I'm telling you, God is my witness. Every morning she will wake up. She will pick the babies. Within two months, this woman conceived. Hallelujah. On the 26th of December, she gave birth to twins. Hallelujah. After 20 years, just by picking up the babies that we are all around her which she did not pick up hallelujah you are running around praying begging crying for what is already yours take it take it he has given you everything you need for life and godliness he's not gonna do anything new god has finished his work on the seventh day he rested he said take it if you want it father we are receiving right now supernatural debt cancellation supernatural engagement supernatural marriage supernatural jobs supernatural increase supernatural uh, 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 pregnancies in the name of jesus everything we need you have provided we take it we take it. It's already there. It's already there. We receive. We receive. We say thank you. Oh, you have given. You have given. No one can turn back your hand. Oh, Papa, thank you. Papa, thank you. Jesus said, Father, thank you. He came before the grave of Lazarus. He said, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Father, you always hear me. I thank you. Who else does miracles like Jesus just with thanksgiving? He will stand there and he will say, Father, thank you. I know it's already done. It's for the sake of these people that I'm even praying because I already have inside information. I know that it's already done. Father, we are receiving. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Father God. You said you will give us houses we didn't build, olive trees we didn't cultivate, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. We are receiving right now. Death free home, Father. Death free home. Death supernatural houses, Father God. You are settling your people at this time. We receive brand new new homes, Father God. Supernatural debt cancellation, Father God. Supernatural money, Father God. We thank you. We thank you. Even when the apostles, they came, they said, Father, we have no money to pay our bills. You said, go and open the fish mouth and take the money. Father, thank you. You said to the prodigal son's brother, all I have is yours, Father. Everything you have is ours. We are not begging. We are not beggars. You didn't call us to beg. You called us to display Play your glory. As many as I hear in the sound of my voice, I command you to begin to manifest glory. Manifest glory from today. Don't ever beg anything. It is yours for the taking. It is yours for the taking. The prodigal son said, we go home and beg. He arrived home. The father said, you can't beg. In fact, the father said, give him the fattest cow. Kill that cow. Put the best ring on his hands. Put the best uh, clothes upon him. He's not a child of a beggar. A child of a king is a king. The father says he's the you are not coming here to beg. People of God, stop begging. You disgrace the father when you beg. Take it, it is yours. Take it in the name of Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. 
I'm receiving. I'm receiving everything the Father has for me. I take it. I take it. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. The cattle on a thousand hills are mine. The testimonies are mine. The blessings are mine. The favor is mine. I'm not begging to be what I am already. He said, I have already made you. Abraham was crying and saying, God, give me child. God said to Abraham, I have already made you a father of many nations. Umaluto, yuto, yuto, yuto. The things you are crying to be, you are already. Mbochu, 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 mbochu. Papa, thank you. I am already. I am that which I am seeking. I am what? I am health, I am peace, I am joy, I am abundance, I am breakthrough, I am success. I, 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 will show to, to, to. I am not begging. Have you ever seen a car begging to be made a car? We are the only people that beg for to become what God said we are already. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. You are already that which you seek. You are that which you seek. God Almighty has already made you. Abraham was crying, God make me. God said, I have already made you. You are a father of many nations. Open your mouth and speak. I am wealth. I am peace. I am hurt. I am wisdom. I am. I am. I am. I am. Because of the tender mercies of God. I am. I am a success. I will never die a failure. I will never die unfulfilled. Everything the Father has for me, I lay hold and I take it. It is mine. It is mine. It is mine. The Bible says he has given us everything we need for life and godliness. We take it. We take it. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Oh Lord, I speak against every demon that is interfering with your life. Amen. All of them to pack their load now. Amen. Because of this mercy, we Thank command them to cast out of your life and family. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Everybody be lifted from your shoulder and you be broken. Amen. Amen. His mercy week in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bishop, one one prayer point I want us to take is from Colossians 3 14 and 15. Okay. Colossians uh, 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 Colossians 2 or 3, I think. Colossians uh, 3. What did he say? He said he has canceled every ordinance that Amen. is contrary Colossians to your two. peace. Colossians two. Okay, Colossians 2, 14. Mm -hmm. 14 and 15. The, right. He says he has canceled mm -hmm. every ordinance mm -hmm. that is contrary to your peace. Yes. He has <laughs> taken it away and nailed it to the cross. Mm -hmm. I want you to pray tonight. Mm -hmm. Every accusing voice, every accusing voice that is speaking against you from the spirit realm, every accusing voice, I want you to enforce the judgment of this promise right now. Speaking to the foundation of your life, every accusing voice. That is speaking against your life. Pray, pray, pray. Kaka, 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 kaka. Every accusing voice. Kalialia, Colossians 2.14. He has wiped out the ordinances that are contrary to our peace. He has taken them out of the way and nailed them to his cross. I said, Aha, shut up. Every ordinance that is condemning you, any voice that is condemning you, mercy has overruled. I said, mercy has overruled. Papa, 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 papa. 
papa, 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 every ordinance that is contrary to our peace, that is speaking from the realm of the spirit. Kalia, 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 let the word of God overtake them. Let the word of God overtake them. Let the word of God overtake them. Every ordinance that is speaking against you, every legal charge that is speaking against you in the realm of the spirit, we condemn, we condemn, we condemn, we condemn in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. One more prayer point. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We want to pray against blood covenants. Blood covenants from our generation from Adam and Eve. We want to trace back our generation from Adam and Eve to this present day. Any blood covenant that is speaking in our lives from our generation from the time of Adam and Eve to this time. I want you to use this Colossians 2, 14 and 15 and say, I enforce this judgment against any blood covenant that is speaking against me in the spirit realm. Any blood covenant that has become a source of pain in any area of my life, starting from my generation relationship with Adam and Eve up to this present day, I cancel it, cancel it, people of God, cancel it, papa, 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 from I trace back my generation from Adam and Eve, Father God, any blood covenant, any covenant of blood that is speaking against my life, against my children, against my destiny, against my success, against my ministry, I destroy, I destroy. Kata, 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 kaka, kaka, tata, papa, 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 every blood covenant tracing back to Adam and Eve, Machutu, Liaba, Liaba, Liababa, every covenant of poverty, every covenant of sickness, every covenant of lack, every covenant of sweatless, any form of covenant, I plead mercy. I speak Colossians 2 14. You have wiped them out. I claim that promise. I claim that promise. I claim your promise. Nachutu, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Over to you, man of God. Over to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we share grace, brethren, I just announced to you the Lord is with you. Don't listen to what anybody is saying, what devil is saying. Tomorrow, come on time. The man of God is anointed. He can't wait to see you tomorrow. It is still just like sacrifice these three days. It's not too much in a year. For what God has done for you, people that are in the grave, they can't praise the Lord today. So please, tomorrow, 7 p.m., be here on time, and the man of God will take over on time, so that I can have enough time to deal with some cases we have here, because we have multiple blessings tomorrow. So now I remember um, to, to, to still support the work of God. Now we are in heaven, embarking on project about COVID-19. That is what we are updating in our website now. We will begin to do some charity work because it's mandatory that we must reach the unreached this period, especially because of COVID-19. Whatever you give, I'm telling you it's going towards the COVID-19 project, which we are doing now. So they are offering you are uh, you are tied. You can pay into the account. You can call the trustees or me myself to take the account number. To we can text the account number. You give. So God will bless you. Now remember, 
do not give up because you are in charge of fight Jesus comes. Amen. Never give up. The woman of God did not give up her house. Because she didn't give up, give it up, nobody could repossess it. So because you didn't give up, that you will not have child, you will not have husband, you will not have this or that, God will not give up supporting you. Amen. As you go, the Lord will go with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please, what, what, the woman of God, the water shall be water. Amen. You still need to bless her. So whatever you can give, as I told you, whatever you can give, we can still communicate with her. Because the water shall be water. So if you want to bless the woman, uh, God, I uh, want to support your servant, still put something in their account. And God will bless you. Amen. The grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall see the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, all. thank you so much, Bishop. Thank you for having me. God bless you all. Thank you. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hold on to the mercies. Thank you. Good night. Grace and Suzette, please, I'll see you all tomorrow. Hallelujah. People on Facebook, God bless you. Our God is so faithful. Our God is merciful and kind. You hold on to the mercies of God. God is ever merciful. God is kind. That mercy never fails. That mercy is constant. That mercy upholds us. That mercy meets every need. That mercy enriches us. God's mercy is ever present. He has appointed that mercy to follow us. And God's mercy will not fail you. God bless you all. Remember tomorrow, uh, we are starting our Tongues of Fire Praise. 6 p.m. tomorrow, Tongues of Fire Praise. God bless you. And thank you so much. We have just finished with Pastor Obi. And, you know, thank God. God is good. I'm looking forward to praise tomorrow. It's going to be mm, 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 Tongues of Fire Praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.